بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته math grade 7 we are in model 9 measures figures today we have the first lesson circumference of circles circumference of circles in this lesson we want to learn how to, to use radius and diameter to find circumference I want from all now to do multiply for the four practices here. Start please and tell me what is your answer. Okay, who can answer me? Exercise number one, what is the product here? Yes, sir, maybe 3.77. Okay, thank you. Exercise number two. Can you hear me? Yes. Tell me, Raya. Maybe it will be 65.1. Okay, thank you, Raya. Exercise number three. Mr. 65.94. Okay, thank you. Exercise number three. Maybe number three is uh, 35.875. Okay, thank you. Number four. Six point four nine. Okay, number five. Mr. Maybe 3942.64. Okay, thank you, Lamar. Check your answers, please. Here 3.77, here 65.94, here 35.875 thousands, here 31.122, and here 3942.64. 64. Okay, thank you for all. Mr. Last, you make um, 
times, right? Yes. Who wants some this this sign by this sign the name of this sign by what's the meaning of by what's the meaning of by by is a constant mathematical value that is represented by the Greek letter by by it is the ratio of the distance around a circle to its diameter. As you see here, we have a circle. The line here around the circle, the name of the line around the circle in the white line, circumference, circumference. If I start from this point, and if I continue the turn, to the same point means I uh, have a distance around a circle. I have a distance around a circle. The name of this distance circumference. And the line here in the yellow between the two points from the circumference of the circle, the name of this line diameter diameter. The ratio between the circumference and the diameter, the name of this ratio pi, the name of this ratio will be y. So who wants some pi? What's the meaning of the pi? The pi means the ratio between the circumference and the diameter, the circumference and the diameter. So by is a special because by never terminates and by never repeats. Computers have a calculate by to 12 trillion plus digits. Hello, because the first three digits of by are three. Point fourteen. March fourteenth is recognized as by day. Albert Easton was born on by day in one thousand eight hundred seventy-nine. So for for estimate, we take the pi three point fourteen. This is fixed ratio. For all cases, always we take the value of the pi, 3.14. I don't understand pi very much. Okay. What's the meaning of the distance around the circle? The distance around a circle. In the sketch, D represent, D means distance, represent the diameter, and C represent the distance. When you see D here in the circle, D represent the diameter, and C represent the distance around the circle, the distance around the circle. The plotted point DC models the relationship between the diameter and the distance around the circle. If I draw many circles, now measures 
the distance around the circle and measure the diameter. Then solve the ratio between the distance around the uh, circle, means the circumference, represent C, and D represent diameter. You will be find always the same, the same ratio, fixed ratio, about 3.14, about 3.14. You can't write in, in your home, in your paper, Try to draw many circles, then measure the circumference and measure the diameter, then do divide the circumference by the diameter, you will be find the same ratio, about 3.14, about 3.14. The name of this ratio, the name of this ratio, pi, the name of this ratio, pi. Halair, as you see here, D means, D means the diameter. The line between the two points in the circumference. The green line here, the green line here, the name of the green line here, circumference, means the line around the circle. If I start from this point and I do the whole turn to the same point, means I do the distance around the circle. The name of the distance around the circle, circumference. And the line here in the blue color, the line between the two points, throw past the center here, the name of this line, diameter, represent D, represent D. And if I draw many circles like this, Here we have small circle, bigger than, bigger than, bigger than, and as you see here we have, we have a change in the diameter and the, in the circumference. But the ratio, we have the same ratio. Why we have the same ratio? Because here we have straight line, we have straight line. Mr. Yes. We will get um, 3.14 and on any circle we measure. Yes. About. About 3.14. Oh, about so. Yes. It can be not 3.14. Yes, not exactly 3.14. About 3.14. But when you we, when we use the estimate, the answer will be 3.14. As you see here, we have this circle, we have diameter about 6.5 centimeter and circums, uh, circumference about 19.02 centimeter. Find the ratio, do divide, C divide by D, 12.0.2 divide by 6.5. Try please and tell me what is your answer. Try to divide 19.02 divided by 6.5 and tell me your answer. Mr. Do you want the answer to be estimated? Without estimate. Take three digit after the point. Um, it will be 3.143 and um, hundredths. 
But this is just like a sixth grade. Just take two digits after the point. The answer will be 3.14. So the answer will be 3.14. Fine. I will change. I will change the diameter and the circumference. Fine. I want from all now to divide 19.85 divide by 6.32 and tell me what is your answer. Sir, it will be near to 3.14. 3.14. See? When we change the, dime the uh, diameter and the circumference, the ratio will be fixed about 3.14. About 3.14. So the name of this ratio, the pi. The name of this ratio will be what? Will be the pi above 3.14 this is fixed ratio so the value of the pi always we will use the value of the pi 3.14 3.14 are you understand now what the meaning of the pi yes mr yes mr how uh, could you calculate the circumference like mr Hello. how you can calculate it you can't measure it with measure uh, like with ruler no, without ruler, without ruler, you can you can bring uh, any uh, small rope and put here the fixed point. Then try to take a hole down to the same point. Then take the rope here and put it in the ruler. Then you will find the measure. Yeah, Mr. Like, but honey, it's a it's circle, so we can't measure it by uh, like anything. Yes, take any small room. And how the... you know? How you could know like which number? Yes. Right? Take fixed fixed point. Start from this point, for example. Put put the uh, uh, the first of the room here. Then take whole turn to the same point. Then take this rope, uh, this rope, put it in the ruler, and find the measure. يعني خدوا أي حبل صغير أو أي خيط حطوه في النقطة الثابتة بداية وخلوه في النقطة الثابتة هاي وعملوا دورة كاملة حول الدائرة لتوصلوا لنفس النقطة. بعدين خدوا هذا الخيط أو الحبل الصغير وبنحطه وين على المسطرة على الرولر. نبدأ من الزيرو بيبي بيطلع ما يقديش الطول. الطول هذا شو بيمثل بالنسبة إلي بنسميه شو الخط حول الدائرة بنسميه سيركونفرنس بالعربي بنسميه محيط الدائرة سيركونفرنس أو محيط الدائرة تمام ليا؟ So what's the meaning of circumference? What's the meaning of circumference? Is the distance around a circle. The circumference of a circle is proportional to its diameter. The exact ratio of C divided by D or C over D is represented by the Greek later by by. And the value of pi is about 3.1415926. So the decimal never ends here, but it's often approximated as 3.14. Another uh, approximation for pi is 22 over 7. And we can use two values. I want to from all to do divide 22 divided by 7 and tell me what is your answer please. Sir, 
3.14. The same okay. value. Yes. So we can we can use values for the pi. We can use pi equal 3.14 as a decimal, and we can use the value of pi 22 over 7 as a fraction. So I want to from all always remember the value of pi 3.14 as a decimal and 22 over 7 as uh, as a fraction. So to find the circumference C of a circle, multiply by by its diameter D or by by two times its radius. And here we have two equations to solve the circumference. The first equation, C means circumference equal pi times D. D means diameter. Or we can write C equal two times pi times R. R means here the radius. Radius means the half of the diameter, the half of the diameter. As you see here, we have circle. The distance around the circle, circumference. If I start from this point and I do the whole turn here to the same point, means we have the distance around the circle. The name of the distance around of the circle here circumference represent C. So when you see now this letter C, C means circumference. And the all line between the two points of the uh, circle here, the name of this line here, diameter, diameter represent D. So when you see D means we have diameter. The diameter line passes through the center. The name of this point, the center of the circle. The center of the circle. Now, the half this distance, the half this distance, this distance means from this point to this point, represent R. R means radius. Radius means the half of the diameter. The half of the diameter. So, here we have two equations to find the circumference. We can solve it. We can write the equation C equal by times D. C means circumference and D means diameter. Or we can write C equal to pi times R. R means the radius. What is the relation between R and D? R equal half of D. R equal half of D. The all distance here, D, and the half of this distance will be what? Will be R. Will be R. Do you have any question here? Mr. Yes, I didn't understand like the symbols. Like how could I calculate as like a circumference from C equals by D? Generally here we can use we can use the ruler. We can find the distance here using the ruler suppose d equal 10 so the r will be what the half of this this distance means r equal 10 divided by 2 means here we have 5 but generally we don't we, we, we don't want to use the ruler in the uh, uh, problem here the question will be, will give us the information now, after this uh, idea, I will have many examples. I will explain how to find the measures. For example, here. To find a measure of a circle, we should um, we should do like circumference divided by the diameter. Yes. Now, generally, when we want to find the distance around the circle means the circumference. We will use the equations. We have two equations to find the circumference. The first equation, c equal two, uh, uh, c equal two pi times r, or c equal pi times d. Right. Listen to me now.
Big Ben. This is a former clock. Is a former clock tower in London, England. The diameter. The diameter means the tower through the center. The tower from the center or through the center. The diameter of the clock face is 23 feet. So, what is the letter represent the diameter? D. D represent what? The diameter. So D equal what? Equal 23. So the question give us the information here about the diameter without using the ruler to measure it. 23 feet. Then find the circumference. Find the circumference. What the meaning of the circumference represents C? Means if we start from this point, the distance around the circle, the distance around the circle. This is the circumference. Now use 3.14 for pi. Round to the nearest hundredth, if necessary. Right. This value for pi equal always about 3.14. Now I have the information here. I have the value of the diameter. And I know the value of the pi. I want to find the missing value here, what? Circumference. What I do when I have D, I will use the formula C equal by times D. C means circumference and D means the diameter and by the fixed ratio between circumference and diameter. Now substitution C equal the pi will be here 3.14 times D. The D will be what? 23. Time. I want from all to Find the product and tell me what is your answer, please. Seventy two. Mr. 72.22. The answer will be 72.22, 72.22. Fit. Who has any question here? Is it clear for all? Yes, Mr. What if we have the diameter, but we don't have uh, the circumference? Like this here, we have the diameter, but we, but we don't have the circumference. Uh, no, I mean we have the circumference, but we don't have the diameter. Yes, the, the next example. After this example, okay, Lian, after this example. Okay.
Now, a circular fence is being used to surround a tree. The diameter of the fence will be 10 and 2 over 3 feet. As you see here, we have circle, and here we have the diameter, 10 and 2 over 3 feet. How much fencing is needed to build the fence? Use 3.14 for pi. Write your answer as a decimal. Round to the nearest hundred. Now I want to from all. We know here the diameter. I want to from all to find the circumference. Please try and tell me what is your answer. Sir, the answer will be 704 over 21. Okay, thank you, uh, Lamar. What's different answer? Okay, listen to me. We have here the diameter, 10 and 2 over 3 feet. And we know the value of pi, 3.14, and you want to find the circumference. So the first step, write the formula. C equal pi times D. So C equal by 3.14 times diameter 10 and 2 over 3. This is mixed number. Uh, try to write it as, as a decimal, uh, sorry, as a fraction. 10 times 3, 10 times 3 will be 30. 30 plus 2 will be 32. Over 3. Now we can multiply 3.14 times 32 divide by 3. 3.14 times 32 equal. 100.48 divided by 3. So the answer will be 33.49. Fit. Who has any question here? Mister? Yes. Mister, I did the same thing, but like instead of 
doing it at the same way I did it like a fraction way and I did like multiplied it by 22 over 7 is that correct multiply by 22 22 over 7 this is the value of the pi times 32 over 3 like this uh, Lamar yes mister yes it's true it's true Mr. If you want to check that uh, your answer is correct, you will uh, you will take the circumference divided with the diameter. Yes. This is the question of Leanne here. Find the diameter given the circumference. Look to the this fountain here. Here I have circle. Here I have circle. One of the largest water fountains in the world. Sign words. Fountain of wealth. Constance of a circular bronze ring that has a circumference of 66 meters. This is the circle, this circle. Now we have the circumference. We have the circumference. C equal 66. Meter. Find uh, uh, the approximate diameter. We want to find D. We want to find D. Of a fountain's bronze rank, use 3.14 for pi. Like, what I do to find the D? The first step start from the formula. C equal pi times D. Hello, we can, we can substitution or we can change the case of this formula. We want to find D. We can write D equal C divided by the pi. Then we can substitution here D equal C equal sixty six and the pi equal three point fourteen. Type I want from all. To find the answer and tell me what is your answer, please. 66 divided by 3.14. Yes, sir, my estimated answer is 21.1. Okay, thank you. So my answer is 207.24. Okay, thank you, Leah.
No, Mr. Um, 21.01. Okay, thank you, Laya. Okay, 66 divided by 3.14, this is the answer, about 69.14. 69.14 meter. Mister? I, think, I think we have wrong here. I will repeat, please. Uh, 66 divided by 3.14. Uh, sorry, the answer will be 21.01. 21. 21.01 meter. Okay, who has any question here? No question. No question. Great. Let us to take the attendance now. Aliazia. Absent. Beka. Here. Sara. Sara. Absent. Emma. Here. Aif. Here, Mr. Afra. Afra. Fatima. Yes, Mr. Afra here. Okay. Fatima. Yes. Fatima, absent. Damar, here. Dayan, here. Okay. I will uh, send to you, inshallah, the homework. Try to solve it, and tomorrow we will solve it together. And we will revise this lesson again tomorrow, inshallah. So this is our period. Thank you for your listening. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.